The focus of this lecture is going to be talking about serial and parallel combinations of our linear devices. And this is going to be something we're going to run into a lot, and so it's just good to start to talk about it right away. And each of the things elements in here can be pretty easily derived uh, in terms of what kind of properties you would get. But we want to kind of talk about this in terms of resistors, inductors, and capacitors. I'm going to start by talking about them in resistors. And the reason for resistors first is that we'll be looking at it both in terms of resistance and conductance. Remember, conductance is 1 over the resistance value. And by looking at it in both those forms, you're going to see some comparisons also to inductors and capacitors. So an interesting thing happens if I put two resistors together. Basically, if I put one and then put one next to it, you imagine I'm going to get more push and more resistance as a result of both of those. So the net resistance that I get is basically going to be the sum of the two. And that <clears throat> gives me something to work on the resistors. If I have two elements of conductance and I have a conductor and I have another conductor in parallel to it, I've got parallel paths to get more conductance. So I would imagine that as a result, I'm going to get, I basically just add it. And so the conductance adds. Now, a funny thing happens along the way when you do that, though, because when you say the two conductances add, those are the inverse of the resistance. And so, you know, we'll maybe define it as I have two resistors in parallel, and I, and I like to use this parallel combination notation because it makes it easy when we're doing certain analysis. I call it, say, resistance value 1 is in parallel with resistance value 2. Okay, what does that mathematically mean? Well, if you think about for the conductance, conductance resistance are, in, are inverse of each other and as a result I have to I get this really interesting formulation and so I'll talk about this general concept of A parallel B as being 1 over 1 over A plus 1 over B. Again you can see the inverse of these operations. It'll be a useful shorthand, it'll be sometimes not always fun to add and compute but it's straightforward and it's just again knowing that that combination between conductance and resistance. You could actually argue even for the series it's like the two conductances are in parallel and a parallel combination. That's it's all mathematically equivalent and it's just useful to get a sense to see that. Okay so if I had inductors it turns out inductors will follow the exact same kind of rules where two of them in series just basically adds the inductance. And it gives you a sense that inductance will sort of feel a little bit like a resistance in some of the way they're going to play. And when I look at two of, I have two of them in parallel, they're just going to, they're going to operate into this parallel operator. So one example would be, imagine I put two inductances of the same size next to each other. What is its effective inductance? Well, its effective inductance will then be you know, effectively half. Because if you look at the look at this calculation, one over and one over and so forth, it basically turns out to be half of the original value. Okay. Capacitors, on the other hand, do something different. And capacitors taking two of them in parallel means I basically get a capacitance that's basically the sum of the two. Capacitors tend to be charge storing elements, so storing charge on one gives me a certain amount, and then having a second one gives me more charge I can store for a certain voltage, so two of them together means it looks like a bigger capacitance. And so this kind of gives me something that looks much more like the conductance that we talked about. And if I put two of them in series, it effectively gives me much more of a, a parallel looking combination. So capacitance tends to feel a lot more like um, conductance, and if you think about it, Capacitance was a current equals the capacitance times the derivative of voltage, whereas, both, whereas resistance was V equals IR, or voltage equals to inductance times the derivative of current with time. So it's not surprising you're seeing these kinds of similarities. But it's also important to understand we're going to see this kind of duality in other places, particularly as we look at, say, Laplace transform uh, views of these circuits, you're going to see that um, the inductors will feel a lot like resistors but with uh, different components to it and capacitors will feel more like conductances. And so you'll see this throughout all of these conversations.